I bet you didn't know the first arms race on Earth wasn't fought with missiles or tanks, but with shells, claws and eyeballs over 500 million years ago. During what scientists call the Cambrian Explosion, life on our planet transformed dramatically from simple organisms into an incredible diversity of complex creatures. But what sparked this sudden change? The answer is simple yet profound. Predation. For the first time in Earth's history, animals began eating other animals triggering an evolutionary arms race that would reshape our planet forever. As predators evolved deadly weapons, sharp claws, the first jaws, teeth, and complex eyes to spot prey, their victims developed ingenious defenses, hard protective shells, burrowing techniques to hide, and camouflage to avoid detection. This pattern might sound familiar because humans have followed this exact same playbook throughout our history. Swords led to shields, which led to stronger swords. Castles prompted siege weapons, which led to more formidable castles. Tanks inspired anti-tank weapons, which led to advanced tanks. The key difference? Well, the Cambrian arms race unfolded through natural selection over millions of years, while our human versions occur through conscious innovation in mere decades or even years. And here's the thing. While the ancient arms race created the foundation for all life we see today, our version holds the potential to end it. But these evolutionary principles extend far beyond biology and warfare. We see identical patterns in technology, business, and culture all around us. Your smartphone evolved through competitive pressure. Social media platforms adapt or go extinct. Even language and ideas evolve through a kind of natural selection. Evolution isn't just about dinosaurs and Darwin. It's a universal process shaping everything from ancient trilobites to the social media algorithm showing you this video right now. So next time you hear about the latest military technology, remember, we're simply the newest players in a game that's been running for half a billion years. I want to wish everyone a happy Earth Day. Today is a day that we recognize the protection of the environment, of animals, and the natural landscapes. If you enjoy my content, I'm an Earth scientist, geologist, and I love making videos about the Earth. So if you do, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.